I love to create art canvases and wintertime is a great way to take some of your favorite icons and put them onto canvases. This is an interesting project for me because what I had in my mind to begin with is not the finished project that I ended up with. In my mind I really wanted something sleek and contemporary, white on white, and when I got this project to that point I didn't like it. So I actually set it aside for a couple of weeks and came up with this idea which takes it in a completely different direction to create more of a vintage look. For this project you will need a stretched canvas and these come in all different shapes and sizes at your local craft store and you might want some wood lettering, craft foam lettering, and on my smaller canvases I used some of these laser cut wood ornaments so decide what sort of raised but flat design that you want to put onto the back of your canvas. You are going to glue this in place and I like to use my Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue. Be sure and take your sticker off the back and glue this down. Once that glue is set then you want to spray this with your white flat spray paint. I like to use Rust-Oleum Flat White and let that dry completely. The technique that I came up with next is using the cheesecloth and this is what's going to transform this into more of a vintage effect. I'm using my Aline's Matte Decoupage. For this step you might want to put on some gloves or just have your wet wipes ready but I'm using this kind of like a fabric stiffener medium but I like this because it's lighter weight and this is the matte you can use you know your glossy or your glitter if you want to in your decoupage and just open this back up what I really like about the cheesecloth is that it's very stretchy and so it drapes really nicely I think I want to put some of my medium on my canvas first. It's not quite sticky enough for me. Let me get a wet wipe. Then I can grab my brush a little bit here and bring this in. So as you can see you don't need to be neat about this at all. Drape this over and you will feel that it starts sticking to that canvas and so what I do is gather it up and then I just start using my brush and it pushes right down into the details of that ornament. Isn't that cool? If you feel like you don't have enough glue or decoupage medium just add a little bit more with your brush and keep pushing it down. And each time I push down here, it's pulling more of my cheesecloth here. So you're going to just need to keep moving it around, pressing it. If it looks like it's not sticking, add some more. And keep working this until you have all of your cheesecloth glued down on the top and along the sides. What you want to do also is cut it even along the edges. My ornament canvas I have set aside to dry and I want to show you how I actually colored the canvas. So here's my larger canvas with Peace on Earth that's already dry. So I did the same technique where I glued the wood down, put the foam uh, letter stickers on, and then I used my Aline's Matte Decoupage to put down my cheesecloth. I am using my Lumiere paint. Now this is the Pearl Turquoise and I just like to apply it with my fingers. and I'm going to put that over any of the raised lettering and just scrub it on. Because the finished effect for this piece is, is more vintage, it's really quite forgiving into how you apply your ink on here, your alcohol ink, which I'm going to show you in just a moment, you Lumiere paints. So just scrub those right on to any of your raised surfaces. Now that my Lumiere paint has been applied, and this dries very, very quickly, almost as quickly as when you start scrubbing it on, so you can go right on to the next step. What I have here is alcohol ink that I have um, thinned down with rubbing alcohol, and you could also, if you have any of your favorite sprays, spray dyes that you want to use that give you any sort of antique effect, I'm sure that those work also. So I'm just going to scrub this in right over my cheesecloth 
right over my paint until the entire canvas has been antiqued. Another step I wanted to share with you on this is that if you have too much color or too much ink, you can take a wet wipe and pull it back. And that's nice, especially if you want to leave a little bit darker around your raised designs, which gives it more of that antiqued effect. So you can see I can really scrub this to pull a lot of that color back. So you're going to have to play with your favorite colors to get that antiqued effect that you want on your canvas. With this technique, you can keep going and layering and layering more materials to make this more mixed media. The more vintage pieces have some pretty glitter on them, so I want to add a touch of glitter. I'm hand dyeing some ribbons to finish this off to match, so have fun in creating your own vintage winter art. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft for winter.